Oh, yeah. This is it, brothers. When I tell you something, y'all better listen next time. Listen. When I tell you something, it's for your own good. It's for your own good. A donation refund. What in the world are you talking about? <laughs> Why would you want a refund? This is the greatest backcourt in NBA history. You see that? Why do you think this is happening right here, ladies and gentlemen? Why do you think this is happening right here? Let me explain to you. That is the best player to ever play the game of basketball. That is Isaiah Lord Thomas III, Detroit Piston, Chicago, Illinois, West Side. That's Joe Dumas from Magny State, Zeke Play from Indiana, number four, number 11, Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame backcourt. One guard, two guard. The greatest backcourt in the history of the NBA. Right there. You can't name me another backcourt. You got to go back 30, 40 years to find another Hall of Fame backcourt. That's the past. The dark skinned brothers versus the light skinned brothers. <laughs> the Splash brothers. Now, Clay and Steph will go down in the hall. Will they be teammates to play all the way through? Different era. They might end up in different teams. So it's going to be hard to put them in the hall as, you know, yeah, they might go down in the backcourt. Clay might stay. But Steph going to be with Golden State forever. He ain't going nowhere. Now, Clay might go to the Lakers. But this is the future Hall of Fame, Bob Court. So you got both of them together. Which lets you know one thing. Them bad boy Pistons with something else, wasn't they? Them bad boy Pistons with something else, wasn't they? Didn't I tell you they were the best team in the whole motherfucker? God damn it! Huh? What? You already know it. The greatest ever, ever to do it. Nothing to it. Now, they were talking about chemistry. The full episode is not aired yet. They, we just got a sample of the sit down. But this is monumental. This is history. 
but they just talk about chemistry and you know how to you know recognizing the players where they like to get the ball tendencies and how Isaiah and Joe communicate on the court and why are they there because they were more knowledge based basketball players they were smart Isaiah Thomas go went on to be part owner of the Toronto Raptors general manager and part owner of the ranch in Toronto Raptors he drafted Tracy McGrady Damon Stoudemire to the NBA later became president of the New York Knicks and bought the CBA Joe Dumars became the president of basketball operations for the Detroit Pistons and led them to a championship and rebirth the Detroit Pistons bad boys bringing in talent like Rip, Rasheed, two NBA finals, four in straight M NBA conference finals, brought them back to dynasty. When the NBA tried to erase them, change their jerseys and put in all different logos, we had to get back to what's original. We had to come back to this. We got to get back to what we do. They tried to change us. Rearrange us. Now Clay and Steph is sitting there, right? And they're soaking in this knowledge. Now, I kept telling you guys, the Bad Boy Pistons team versus the Golden State Warriors at any members that they want to have would never beat this team here. And I want you to understand that. That they compare the two. And we've already did the video breaking down the two. Who would win? How the game would go? And I told you. Nobody's going to beat the bad boy Pistons. Nobody's gonna beat the bad boy Pistons. Detroit. Bad boys. I ain't talking about Pat Puff or Mike Lowry. <laughs> So that's history you see sitting right there in that couch. History. History. That's what you see. Oh, you didn't know that was the man's plan? <laughs> lighter, 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 gone. You didn't know that was the plan? <laughs> oh no, Urban Meyer didn't quit. <laughs> he was forced to resign. <laughs> They were never going to live that down, that they didn't fire him. It was all part of the plan. They tried to ride this season out. They know Ohio State going to struggle next year. They're losing most of their players to the NFL. A lot of them go into the draft, key players go into the draft. So you know what time it is. Bad boy. But not Puff for Mike Lowry. Woo! Would you look at that one more time?
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's history. Told you about my Pistons. I told you we were best. Best team ever assembled. Y'all done got me fired up. <laughs> I can't wait to that air. Can't wait. It's going down. Bad boys. Now you got to ask yourself this. Why ain't Michael and Scotty up there? <laughs> Told you. We the best. Three Hall of Fame players, baby. Three, that's who. Rodman. Zeke. Joe. And we should have more. And don't forget the coaches Hall of Fame, too. That's four. You're right. They ain't, there isn't a backcourt. You're right about that. That's why I, I told you, you got to go back 30, 40 years before you find another Hall of Fame backcourt. You got to go back 30, 40 years before you find another one. <laughs> But this next class, it'll have one. Steph and Clay, they'll put in there. Steph is already Hall of Fame. Clay, he on that borderline. I win, I win bets off this all the time because Joe Dumas was known as the quiet man. See, let me tell you something else about Joey D. His numbers is up there. He's played more games than Dwayne Wade. And Dwayne Wade played about three more seasons than him. Why? Because Joe Dumas used to play 82 games a year. He didn't miss games. Now, everybody else, they miss games nowadays. Take breaks. He played a whole season more than Dwayne Wade. He played 100 games more than Wade. Wade's probably just passing him up now. Because Wade was injured a lot. But Joe Dumas was Hall of Fame. But he was always quiet. Joe Dumas has never gotten a technical foul in none of his NBA career. So the award, the award that they have for that is called the Joe Dumas Award. Which shows professionalism in the sport. Nobody was a greater professional who was always positive Never yelled, Joe Dumas. No technical fouls for his entire NBA career. And he played on the bad boy Pistons. <laughs> that shows you, buddy, it's talent. They ain't gotta have no all American smiles. They weren't liked by everybody. Hey, everybody ain't like. But you weren't gonna beat them mentally. And you wasn't a better talent player than that. This is why I tell people all the time, you have to trust in the system. They disrespected the Detroit Pistons, but the NBA knows. That was a real team. They know.
They know. They know. That's why they robbed us to get y'all our title. Y'all were y'all were rough too. This is what they don't tell y'all. The NBA was no pansy league back then. Everybody played tough. You think the Lakers was soft? The Lakers wasn't soft. They had Kurt Rambis out there throwing bows. You want them to come in and punk Magic Johnson? Kareem will lay you out. You think James Worthy was soft? He wasn't like that. Now, Michael Cooper, he was soft. But Michael Cooper could shoot. Now, to tell you the truth, one of the reasons we lost in 87-88, when Isaiah had the miraculous game, we lost that, but we should have swept y'all. Y'all shouldn't even been in, y'all with no match for us. Oh no, they can't be compared. My video explains that all. We would have crushed them by 50. They would have mentally be broke, been broken down. Steph Curry would have had to hit 30 footers all night. And that's still in the one in the game. They'd have been complaining. Steph, Clay would have been crying because Joe would have been guarding uh, Clay, and he'd have shut Clay down. Then you got Rodman in there bumping into him, and man, look, if they put them in the league now, we had to play by the rules of today. The Detroit Pistons win by thirty. We win by thirty. We had hella defense, and we could shoot. We got Isaiah Lord Thomas the Third and Joe Dumont, <laughs> and we got Vinny the Microwave Johnson. He gonna come up the bench and hit you with a quick fifteen and fifth. You be like, man, it's thirty five seconds. He already got fifteen points. That's why he the microwave. <laughs> Vinny Johnson in the microwave heats up the court and burn you for days. Man, beer is a money pack guaranteed. A killer in the paint hit man for three. <laughs> man, we got our center shooting threes. We made that popular. Now everybody's out here wanting to shoot threes. Bill Lambeer will drop you off. He's going to get you about 12 rebounds. Might get you 12 points to go with it. But he's going to get some rebounds. He's going to have double-digit rebounds. He's going to get blocks. He's going to clog the lane. He's going to make your players want to fight. We'll get Dre thrown out in the first five minutes of the game. Then Kevin Durant will join him. It would be a wrap. <laughs> they wouldn't win one game. All the games will be a double-digit blowout. Because they played as a unit, one player wasn't going to stop the show. Each person that went out, another player came in and they knew what to do. That's right. They play defense 94 feet. So the attitude is 94 feet. <laughs> That's how we play. It's the Detroit Pistons, baby. Bad boys. The only team I'm rocking with. The bad boy Pistons. You better believe it. Write it down. Don't forget it. Of course they sleep. They've been brainwashed. And things are going down here that shouldn't be happening.
Oh, they would have shut all that down. He wouldn't have drove to the basket. Because he'd have drove to the basket one time and they'd have ran his head into the floor. And he'd have got up and they'd be like, oh, well, that's a two. That's a one time you do that and you eject it. They'd be like, cool, ain't no problem. We'll, we'll put in that 12 guy. <laughs> you on the bench. Come on in the game. You guard LeBron James, and you know what to do. We gonna tree Rollins him. As soon as he come down that lane, whack! That's a flagrant two, yep. Tree has been ejected. Tree wasn't gonna play tonight anyway. Okay, two in on the side. Take him out, chump. Yeah, we gonna show you about basketball. <laughs> we gonna teach you how to play. Now you gonna play ball for real. Now you want to try that linebacker stuff now coming in, running into people? Come on and run in again. We got another guy for you. you we got another guy we ain't finna use tonight. You ready to go tonight? Yep. All right. Batter is up. Boom! Oh, that's a flagrant two. He's ejected. They didn't even got to check the tape, but they're looking at it. Look, he cocks back. Ooh, a punch right to the jaw as he comes down the lane. Look, he throws his hands up. He's ejected! I mean, yep. Ejected. <laughs> That's exactly how I would play it. I would have super kicked him right out of the air if he ran me over. If I, they run me over and I'm set, and it's a charge, and he lower his shoulder into me, I go back. I'm going down there to take an offensive foul. I hope LeBron tries to stand in my path. I'm coming up knees high right in his chest. I'm going to be like, dribble, 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 jump, knee. Oh, he didn't even try to score the ball. He aimed with his knee. I mean, yeah. Yeah, now you see it. <laughs> now it's your turn. Let's see. You want to come back down the court? You want to keep playing? You going to lower your shoulder into me and y'all going to let him do it? And call it a blocking foul? Okay. You chose the game. <laughs> y'all chose the game we going to play. <laughs> but you ain't going to like the outcome. There ain't no jealousy. If he gonna do it to me, I'm gonna do it 10 times worse than him. That's the name of the game you chose. So <laughs> that is how it's going down. Exactly. But they made it that way. But I gotta roll, my battery gonna die. But don't forget, click that link in the description box, leave a donation. And we're going to get to something real later on. I'm going to premiere a video on here on YouTube tonight. It's crazy right now. That's right, Joseph. That's why they picked up. They picked up three players because they already know. <laughs> 